What's going on, Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on the Cougar Sports Network bringing you yet another edition of Coaches Weekly. And once again, I'm joined by head coach of CUC Men's Basketball, Coach Rashawn Searles. Welcome back to the show. Excited to talk to you today. How are you doing? Good. Well, it was your season opener this past Saturday. Played a very, very talented Elmhurst team. Unfortunately, dropped that one 77 to 72. But on the plus side, it was a game you guys were up, you know, you were up in double digits for a lot of that game. I know it hurts to lose in the end, but I'm sure as head coach, it was good seeing your team put such a competitive effort and even at point lead a, again, a very, very good Elmer's team who was just outside the top 25. So as head coach, I'm sure that was, at least that part of it was good to see in the season opener. Oh, absolutely. I thought that my team played really well. Mm -hmm. um, I was excited on the execution tip from the first 30 minutes of the game. It was just the back half when the game got tight, mm. the crunch time, mm -hmm. got to be a little bit better with the, with the details and you know, first game, uh, you know, I'd rather have those, you know, minor mistakes now rather mm -hmm. than the back half of the season. So, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with how my team performed mm -hmm. and how we looked, you know, coming out the gate. Right, and you kind of talked about it, but like you said, you know, the back half of the game, maybe not the strongest. So, in what areas do you want to see improvement from your team to kind of prevent another, um, another fall like that from happening again? Yeah, I think we just have to be better with the details, executing the plays, mm -hmm. knowing what we're looking for <clears throat> in the plays, um, when we need to do certain things, you know, mm -hmm. this time situation, and, uh, you know, just knowing when to, to go about mm -hmm. forcing the issue or, you know, just running the play fully through. Right. I think that, you know, ultimately we just, we miss shots. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, we just got to make shots down the stretch, especially right. when you get tired, those legs get heavy, uh, and we'll be better. Right. Yeah. And helping you guys along in that game was, of course, Jordan Matthews. I know it's kind of redundant to say Jordan Matthews had a good game, but led the team in points and rebounds and steals. And I think that's something some people may not notice about J-Rock all the time is that he's not just a point scorer. He's not just the offensive guy. He's a really good defender, too. He's a really good all-around player. So as head coach, that has to be such a luxury to have a player like that who, again, not only can go out and get you about 20 points a game, but can get you rebounds, can get you steals, can do a little bit of it all and be a leader at the same time. Absolutely. Like the last part, I think what you said, he's a leader. Mm -hmm. you know, and I'd even go further and say he's a winner. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he can score the ball, but he's going to do whatever it takes to win the game. So right. if that means scoring, he's going to score. If he's getting steals, rebounds. Mm -hmm. you know, he came to me before the game said he wanted to guard their best player. Mm -hmm. And so he, he took the challenge and held him in check. You know, their best player, who we thought was uh, Ocean Johnson. Mm -hmm. you know, he finished with 14 points. But yeah. You know, he was six of didn't you know, have an amazing game, right? From the field, yeah. So mm -hmm. J. Rock did a, did a great job on that, and that's just the type of guy he is. And I think it it, it carries over and onto the other players. Mm -hmm. They, they kind of keep that same mentality. So, from a leadership standpoint, he, he's he's man, he's he's so valuable, especially right. as a first year head coach. You know, I'm just I'm thankful to have him. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are on the road again tonight at Monmouth, and you're on the road again Saturday at Milliken. And, I mean, as head coach, how do you kind of handle all these road games in a row to start the season? You're on the road again next week, too, against St. Norbert to start conference play. So, I mean, that's a tough way to start your season with back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back road games before you finally get to come home. So how are you and your coaching staff kind of handling this team, you know, being able to keep them motivated, keep them going, even though we're having to go on the road all the time? Yeah, we, we talked to the team going all the way back into the summer mm -hmm. that we were going to make the schedule like this to prepare us for that back half of the grind uh, mm -hmm. later in the season, especially going in towards NAC tournament, comp or conference tournament, NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of get that test out there to see where we really are at. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's a good challenge being away, having to play for ourselves mm -hmm. you know, with each other and being in hostile environments and having to come closer and, and, and mm -hmm. just get through, t through tough challenges. Um, as far as like the coaching staff goes, we, we prepare, we're three games ahead. So oh, wow. with, our, with our scouting and stuff. So it's a quick turnaround. That was one thing that we did learn, me and Coach Bob Torf, when we were at CIT, is it's easier to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So it's even on quick turnarounds, we are already ready to go. Right. So we, as soon as that, that uh, Elmhurst game ended, Monmouth was right next on the list. Right. We came in, addressed mm -hmm. the Elmhurst game. 
straight to Monmouth, and now we're ready to go, and that's kind of like the focus, and then right. play this game, and after that, another can be next up, right. just one game at a time. Right, yeah. and kind of adding on to the difficulty of the road schedule is just the strength of schedule you guys mm -hmm. are playing. Elmer's a very good team, Monmouth is solid, Milliken's a very good team, mm -hmm. so can you kind of talk about what the purpose of this was, you know, starting off the year with such a tough stretch, stretch of play against yeah. non-conference? I mean, you see, you see some coaches when they schedule non-con games, you know, they kind of work their guys into it yeah. a little bit but you guys said nope right out of the gate we're playing some of the best of the best this area has to offer yeah and a big piece of that is we have so many returners mm -hmm. and so many experienced guys we wanted to just go out and we wanted to make sure that we are playing against what we believe will be tournament teams mm -hmm. you know we want to see where we stack up so we can know the rest of the season what we need to be working towards mm -hmm. and i think it was a good test and i think our guys are ready for it one thing that really stood out to me last year was Despite starting 8-0, mm -hmm. we only received four votes for the top 25. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I attribute that to being strength of schedule. Right. And so we wanted to go out there and get a tougher strength of schedule. And we know right. it would be a little rockier, mm -hmm. but, you know, I think it's only going to make us stronger in the end. And, you know, as last night proved, we see, okay, we got to be a little bit better with the execution, especially in the late game. Mm -hmm. And you know, we can fix those minor details. And that's, those are correctable things. But we right. see that we're, we're right there with some of those right. top teams. Definitely. Well, CUC men's basketball back at it tonight at Monmouth. That is a 7 p.m. tip-off. Coverage for that match can be found at our website, cucougars.com. Coach Searles, thanks again for joining me today. Good luck tonight and over the next week. I'm looking forward to talking to you on the next episode of Coaches Weekly. But until then, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and wanting to say, as always, go Cougars!